morning. Emil is saying hi to you. And Lola is saying hi. We're about to go somewhere. I'll tell you where. Welcome to today's vlog. We are going to my class. There is a class that is like a postpartum gymnastics. Well, not gymnastics. We call it gymnastics in German. Um, it's just movements and to rebuild your pelvic floor and all that kind of stuff. There's a class for that. Actually, the insurance, my health insurance pays for it. And so I'm going to take them. It's, it's a class with baby or in my case with babies. There's another twin mom in the class, but she has never taken her babies. She leaves them at home with, uh, I think it's her mother. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a disaster here, but uh, who cares? I'm gonna have breakfast and then we're gonna head there because it's really important to do something for my pelvic floor. Uh, there's my breakfast. I have some fresh strawberries and my yogurt. It's just plain Greek yogurt. I've shown it before. I mix in some I mix in some protein, like vanilla protein powder, and some green healthy stuff powder <laughs> with all kinds of healthy spirulina and a bunch of greens and wheatgrass and stuff. And I uh, put some flaxseed and just fresh strawberries on here. It's yummy. They've been so clingy and needy in the past few days. I think they're like really in the middle of their 15 week growth spurt because they're almost 16 weeks now, but um, crazy. Like last night was pretty okay, but the night before that it was pretty horrible. <laughs> they both woke up at the same time and then they woke each other up and then they were like wide awake. That hasn't happened in a really long time. Like they were wide awake. And it took an hour to get them back to sleep. And they're like, they want to be carried around all the time. Of course, they're hungry all the time, which when weren't they? But um, so I have him in the carrier now, uh, but I'm going to have to put them in the stroller, which sometimes is interesting because um, sometimes it's okay. And sometimes they just scream from the top of their lungs. They don't want to lie down anymore. They want to look. Now at, they're at the age they can't sit yet. But they wanna and so they're really frustrated when they have to lie flat and, and you know they wanna explore the world. Well, no screaming right now. And it's actually quite warm warm today, so I don't have to bundle them up so much. That's good. No jackets. <laughs> and I'm wearing sandals. It's comfortable. Let's see. The last few times they actually mostly slept through the class which was so awesome so i could really participate we'll see how it goes today everybody thinks they're always so peaceful but oh well they don't know they can also scream okay he fell asleep we are done with the class she was up the entire time so i couldn't really get everything done yeah and she's really tired now she's been up for three and a half hours now uh oh. All right. <laughs> Fast forward. It's now a week and a half later. I just didn't. I just didn't vlog anymore. I don't know why things got really. I mean, they are busy all the time. But I could have vlogged, but I just it. I never occurred to me. So, but I'm gonna give you an update. First, I'm gonna show you the twins. They're rolling around on the sofa here. There's Miss Lola. Oh, let me turn off the light. That is too bright for her. There's Miss Lola. Hi, how are you doing? She's looking a little critical. It's like, hmm, what is going on? Do I wanna be on video? I'm not sure about that. So there's Miss Lola. And I have them on the couch here so they can roll around a little bit. And they do roll around quite a bit now. I have to be really careful. So I have to be like right here um, to where I'm there <laughs> if they get to the edge. And there's Emil. Hi, Emil, how are you doing? It looks like he has ring under, rings under his eyes, but it's the light because there's the window right here. How are you, buddy? Feeling good? Okay, so now I, now I had to change the battery and now she's getting fussy. She's back here and there's Emil. Hi there. Now he doesn't look like he has rings under his eyes. Uh, 
Lola. Oh, kannst du mir mal ganz kurz helfen hier, während ich das Video mache? Nur? Okay, I need some help. Romy is gonna come and help me real quick. Because Lola is like, she's, she's getting stuck back here. She needs help. Rescue, come to the rescue. Uh oh, she always wants to, she always wants to be on her tummy, but then she can't get back all the time. But look how she's going up. There, you're seeing yourself in the little monitor. <laughs> so, but anyway, I wanted to give you a little update. Hi, Rumi. So, she's shy. Um, uh, quite a few things have happened. Um, I do, I had to go back to work. I think I did mention that, so like, I mean, I don't go to work, I work from home, but it's been a challenge to get things done. So I always do things with one baby in my arms, <laughs> kind of trying to get things done, which is really, really hard. And then they start fussing and they want to be carried around, but they don't want to be still. They want me to walk around and move. Um, but now we actually have uh, child care, in home child care, here in our house. There's an Indian lady from India. Well, she lives in Germany technically, but she is originally from India and she comes twice a week for four hours, Mondays and Wednesdays, to help me with the babies. And so like today she was here and it's, oh my goodness, it's such a game changer. It's, oh, what a relief to have someone just for a few hours to um, just, you know, she takes them in the stroller usually and goes for a really long walk for a couple hours. Um, and that was nice today and they sleep almost the entire time. So um, I'm all by myself in the house. I can get not as much done as I think I can. I always have like all these ambitions like, ooh, now I can do this and this and this. And of course I can't get everything done all at once. But it is such a relief and I can actually plan a few things so that I can get something done. And now it's two o'clock. <laughs> okay, you think. <laughs> I could actually make a video that's like a few minutes long, but I can't. Now I was interrupted because I forgot a meeting that I had via Zoom. Um, nothing earth shaking, but I was supposed to meet with a friend to talk about a few important things that were like professional nature, but we're also friends. And now the babies are here and we're trying to keep them calm. Now they're sitting here. Hello, Ibi. We're doing baby disco. We play music and then we go like, you know, we go Look at us all chilling. She's chilling now. Mmm, she's watching Romy. She's eating a snack. Uh-huh. There she goes. Do you want to eat a snack? We actually um, started feeding them. They are now exactly four months. And um, we've tried a little bit of potato. We tried sweet potato and pumpkin. And Emil is really good. He actually is starting to swallow. Um, Lola a little bit, but he, he is a little further along when it comes to eating. He kind of really understands, like, now, now I want to eat. And he kind of wants to do that and for her it's more like okay interesting but um, <laughs> um maybe she just needs a little bit more time and every every child is different of course so i just i wanted to give you at least an update i'm not gonna have a lot of time to like film footage because it's been crazy around here i'm trying to get my business back on track i'm also trying to restructure and like i have all these bright ideas which, you know, we're gonna need time. We are thinking about maybe getting an au pair again. We had one, I don't know, it's been maybe four or five years, probably. We had um, a young, well, she was 26 already. She was from Spain and she stayed with us for a year. And I'm thinking about maybe getting an au pair again. It's kind of like a live-in nanny. She, she's part of the family then. And, um, you know, I'm always here. I'm always home. I work from here. But the thing is, I actually do need to get a little bit of work done. And I have all these ideas that I want to... Oh, I have fun doing what I do. And so, right? I want to provide for you all. And uh, I want to help 
other people in the world. You know, I'm a vocal coach and I want to help as many people as possible. So I have new ideas of things I want to do. Um, but I really need some quiet time for that. Oh, they're so cute. They're looking at me. I'm just like, it melts my heart. Um, sleep wise, and I'm gonna make another update video, like a four month update. Excuse me. Um, every baby usually wakes up twice every night. So every four hours, pretty much. You could almost time it exactly by the clock. So um, Lola, I put her down between seven and eight. She's usually the one tired first. They kind of like watching me talk to the camera. It's really funny. If I didn't talk to the camera, they would not be quiet now. <laughs> so yeah, like seven and eight, Lola goes down and then she doesn't go down. I put her down, she doesn't go down. <laughs> and then she will wake up around midnight, plus minus. And then Emil a little bit after that because he also probably sleeps maybe an hour after she goes to sleep. I put her to bed first and then she will do great just being fed and then she'll sleep. But he, him, I kind of have to just carry him around a little bit and rock him. He needs to be rocked. so Otherwise he won't sleep. He'll be all grouchy. And then he will wake up shortly after. And But he's the one up early in the morning, like around 4.35. He starts getting more active. I mean, usually he does go back to sleep, but only if I'm really close to him and um, I breastfeed him so I can calm him down. That's the advantage. So it works out really well. I breastfeed him um, at night and for Lola, she gets the bottle at night. I try to pump. I haven't really been breastfeeding a lot except at night because during the day they are so distracted. There's just no way. They won't do it. As soon as I try to lay them flat, they yell and scream and they just aren't going to have it. So um, yeah, just lots of pumping which sucks because it just takes a lot of time and then I have to sit right in front of them and try to entertain them while I pump. That's just not fun. but. Well, at least I'm trying to get as much like breast milk as possible. Yeah, so I'm gonna make another video for like a baby update. And now they're getting restless and I need to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. This was a little messy, but I did want to give you an update. Um, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Be blessed.